ask, so how do you transition from that first tandem skydive through to finding a perfectly decent object to throw yourself off? Well, I mean, the, it's kind of a long road going from skydiving to base jumping, but skydiving, like I'll start with kind of how much experience a person needs to transition into base jumping. Hmm. Cause uh, like, for instance, I had someone call me yesterday, um, my tandem base phone and they said, Hey, I want to try base jumping. Um, and I asked him how many skydives they had. And he had like, you know, just a few. And I, I told him the deal, basically you got to have 200 skydives. So you got to kind of get involved with it and spend, sometimes it takes a few years to get 200 skydives. It can be done in a year, but you got to spend a lot of time doing that. And the reason why is because you got to get really uh, proficient under a parachute and be able to land where you want to and be able to control the thing and land soft. Cause now in a base jump, you have one parachute and you have tiny little landing areas with usually a lot more uh, like threatening objects to hit mm. around you. So anyways, lots of skydiving. And then a person takes a, uh, a base jumping course. I teach those too. There's a few people that do. Uh, where you spend, you know, four or five days learning how to base jump. You got to learn how to pack a parachute too, because it's, you know, your one chance. So you got to do that right and get good at it. Mm. And uh, yeah, during the course, you just, you know, do a bunch of jumps, learn a lot about the technical side of base jumping and the dangers and the possibilities. And you just have to be, really be able to almost imagine different scenarios, like bad scenarios that can happen. Uh, before you go do it, because you have to, you just have to think everything through, you know, what would I do if this happened? What would I do if that happened? And you have to be able to uh, really think about all this, you know, bad stuff to have your mind prepared because you're just talking seconds and, and fractions of seconds where you have, uh, have to make a reaction in order to, you know, change the course of events going on. Mm. But, um, but yeah, after 200 skydives, then you do that, cor you do a course and then, it's kind of on from there and you just try to take your time and not get too eager. There's different personalities that get into base jumping that uh, tend to be a bit more dangerous, like someone that's super eager or, you know, the, the typical person that thinks base jumping is like an adrenaline junkie sport. Um, if a person like that comes in and they just kind of go for it, they have that attitude where it's like, yo, fuck it. I'm going for it. Um, you know, that they usually don't last as long because you can't make any mistakes in base jumping and <laughs> you got to be actually really smart. So um, yeah, it's different than what people think. I mean, you got to, instead of just like the, I mean, you got to be a little bit crazy, but you also got to be completely brilliant and almost genius in certain ways, I think mm. uh, in order to, you know, prolong your time in the sport. Yeah. Because it's um, with, with so many different factors to manage, you can't be unintelligent going into it. You've got to go and like, as you say, analyze every risk and come up with a solution that you think you can execute quickly, depending upon it, what the circumstance is. And um, I guess even a, a slightly larger gust of breeze or wind than you were expecting can make a dramatic difference on that one jump. It can, yeah. And, and they do come out of nowhere. Usually, you know, the wind and everything, but yeah, things just happen. And a lot of it is controllable and just down to the decisions that you make. But a lot of, you know, some of it is just freak occurrences that happen. And yeah, it's, so it does take uh, just an amazing amount of uh, just visualizing um, what can go wrong and just, you have to be I think really smart to do it. <laughs> and some people wouldn't understand that because they're thinking, well, how could you be even be smart by going and jumping off of bridges or anything with a parachute? But yeah, it takes a lot, I, I believe. And uh, the, you know, the people that come in and do it without thinking about it or just, you know, going wild with it, they're the ones that end up making the rest of us look bad because, you know, they either weren't prepared or they just, you know, made a crappy decision. Um, it just kind of makes, and then the negative statistics end up kind of sticking out more than, you know, the positive ones. So we all end up looking like we're sometimes idiots when it's really not true. Mm. So where was your first base jump? How did that come about? My first base jump was actually right here where I live in Twin Falls, Twin oh, wow. Falls, Idaho. 
So we have a bridge here where we're allowed to jump. It's about 500 feet tall. Um, it's got a sidewalk and there's just no rules against base jumping. So it's basically a self-regulated sport. I came up here, uh, jumped with a guy. Um, I took a class basically, and it was a three day thing. And that was my first jump. And I was pretty terrified, but I knew I was going to do it because I'd been thinking about it for years. And it was actually hard to let go of the bridge when I was about to jump. I'm counting down saying, I, you know, I said three, two, one, see ya. And I remember the first time, like while I was counting down, I was like, wait, <laughs> I'm trying to tell my own brain to wait. And, uh, and I had, I think I had to do the count again. And uh, finally I went for it, but I kind of had to talk myself into it. It's, it's not necessarily the most rational of things. Your brain is, that the brain is is designed to ensure that you survive, and so the the yeah. time that you go do something for the first time, uh, it doesn't matter what the logical part of you says about how well prepared you are or whatever else. There's still like the subconscious part of your brain is like you're fucking crazy. Don't do it. <laughs> it's so true. 